This is Travis and welcome to my episode of Elston Equine Solutions and today what I'm working on is replacing a uh, cinch for my horse cutter. He's a small little turkey and stuff so I've got my brand new one and everybody knows that you have a cinch strap on one side and you have different straps on the off side to be able to attach the cinch to the saddle to secure the whole setup to, on the horse's back. So today what we're talking about is I figured I'd share three different methods that, that you can use to help secure your cinch to your saddle. So first thing I want to talk about is on a saddle, you always have a near side and you have a far side. Okay, so we're on stands where the horse's head is and this is the horn, okay? On the side facing you is the off side of the saddle. This side would be considered the near side of the horse or near side of the saddle. This side would be the off side of the saddle, okay? Now, there's three different straps that you can use to help secure a cinch. One of the most familiar that most people use is this one right here. This is called a billet strap, okay? Now, the billet strap is pretty simple. It's pretty easy. It's just a single piece of leather with a few holes on it. And all you do is find the ring on the off side of your saddle and that's why it's called the off side billet and all you're going to do is take the, the string off the billet and all you do is open it up slide the tip of the billet straight down the ring and secure like this next thing you do is you just tie it in And I'm going to give uh, more detail in the future of how to tie this on. Okay, once I have the billet strap connected to the ring, the next step is automatically is to put it into the cinch. So with most cinches on the off side, they normally have a loop. Not all cinches do, but a lot of good ones do. And basically all you're doing is opening up the tongue, metal tongue of the ring, slide your billet strap through, and go ahead and pierce the leather with the tongue, metal tongue of your ring. With the excess, all you're going to do is tuck it nice and neat inside of the built strap keeper. And voila, you have it attached. And obviously different holes for different measurements, different type of sizes of horses. And once again, if you see my video on uh, how to secure lateral straps and cinches, take the saddle off. All I'm going to do is take the cinch, put it inside the cinch keeper and i am good to go okay all right so that's one way second way is is a strap called the half braid and we're going to show that next all right folks uh so we've already covered the belt strap and now what we're going to talk about is the half braid now you'll notice they look very similar the only difference is the one i'm holding my right hand the half braid is very very long very long okay now, a lot of people think that the half breed goes on exactly the same way as a build strap, and that's not correct. So don't do this. What a lot of people do is they'll just put it down the ring, and they will put it together just like you did with the build strap. I actually was in Kansas working at a ranch there, and I was watching one of the team ropers, and his, if you can picture this on a horse, had this stuff hanging down, slapping around all kinds of stuff because it's not designed to fit like that, okay? This is how you're supposed to put it on a cinch. So the first thing you do is make sure the half braids ends are the same length. You're going to take one of them, stick it through the cinch ring on the offside portion. Once again, that's the side that has the keeper or whatever side you choose that doesn't have a keeper. And you slide it up. 
Now it catches right in the center. Now you take the two ends, join them together, and you're gonna run north to south through the ring. Feed it back through the ring of your cinch. And then all you're gonna do is take your hole, the metal ring of your cinch and the metal tongue, pinch it right through the hole until it pierces leather. Now when I pull on, what happens is the metal tongue of the cinch ring collapses onto the half breed. Then once again, you take your excess, stick it right down inside the keeper of the cinch. Now, you're gonna ask, what is the benefit of a half breed? Well, if you think about the billet strap, if you're just doing simple recreational riding, there's nothing wrong with the billet strap, okay? Uh, there's only one, two, three, four, four settings on this, and you only have a single piece of leather going right over top of the cinch ring. When you cinch it up on a horse, that's a lot of tension, a lot of pressure going on that single piece of leather, okay? If you are doing a lot of riding all the time, such as team ropers and so forth, one of the benefits of the half breed is it is twice as thick. Now I have two layers of a strap going over top of the ring. So that's one of the benefits of having a half breed. Not only that, but you have multiple holes to be able to move the strap up and down to be able to tie it to the size of your horse. So those are a couple benefits of the half breed. There's a third one I like to talk about. If you had, if you picture this, if you had a double rigging, okay, that means there's one ring here and one ring here. I can actually split these like this. So this piece of leather is on this ring. This piece of leather is on this ring right here. And what it does disperse the weight of the pulling force of the saddle onto each ring through each piece of leather. Okay, so that's the next best thing if you picture that on a half breed, all right? Okay, another nice thing about a half breed uh, I'd like to identify is there is no strings to tie on here to secure it to the ring of the saddle. If you're gonna use the belt strap or just a tie strap, okay, you have to tie it onto the saddle. Nice thing about the half breed is you don't have to with this, the way this is set up. And that's a very nice advantage of the half breed. But, uh, the story about the kid Kansas, he knew it was wrong and he asked help. And that's the biggest thing it takes courage in trying to learn is just ask somebody, does this look right? Uh, how do I fix this? Okay. And I went ahead and showed him, fixed his horse. And boy, he was a happy camper. His horse was a happy camper. And man, he's doing great at that ranch down there. All right. So this is one way. This is the second way. And the third way that I'm going to talk about, if you look on my other saddle here, I'll flip my rope up here. Remember, this is the offside of saddle. The third way we like to do it, and I, this is my favorite way, is with a latigo, otherwise known as a tie strap. Okay? This tie strap here, I like the most because I could double wrap with the leather, just like the half breed. Okay? So I got two different, when I tied up on a horse, I got multiple leather dispersed on top of the ring. Number two, I have a lot of holes I can go through. A lot of holes. Number three, if you ever had a horse and your horse training, you got multiple, your saddle going multiple horses and you're pulling up tight in the cinch and you run out of room on this side right here, I'm pulling up on my lad to go, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. And my cinch is tight as I get it. The nice thing about this is I could come over here on this side and I could tighten up my latigo and just tie a cinch knot. So I like that a lot. So I can adjust on one side. I don't know how many times I've been on a trail, trail ride and people riding and they're like, I can't get any tighter. Well, that's right because I only got a few holes right here to go through. With the normal tie strap, I could pull it up, tie a cinch knot and make it dead even on the cinch on both sides, all right? So this is the preferred way that Travis likes to set up his offside onto a cinch, okay? Is with a strap on each side. Now remember, everybody calls this a latigo. Latigo is just uh, a piece of leather, named for a piece of leather. 
it's actually a tie strap so that's a little tip tidbit and uh let you know and if you call it latigo i know what you're talking about most people do but it's actually official name is a tie strap so i hope this helps you out and uh, now you have the knowledge now you have the solution to fix whatever system you use you got three choices to help secure your, your sensitive saddle take care now adios